Hi, welcome to O Trading TV. Today's video will be a bit different as I'm going to try to explain you what is Bitcoin in a simple concept. Basically, Bitcoin is the cash money of the internet. In real world, you have cash, you have credit cards, you have debit cards, you have check, you have bank transfers. Most of these payment systems require a middleman, the bank company, the credit card company to authorize the transaction. Only cash pretty much is the only payment type where you don't need to trust the person in front of you or a middleman, the bank. You simply trust that this bill, that cash money will be able to uh, buy you other, other goods with it. So if you're a cashier, if you're a merchant, if you're a bartender, for example, if somebody gave you a $5 bill, you know that you can turn around and buy something else with that same money for that same value. On internet, payment type will often be credit cards, bank transfer, PayPal, um, and they all will require an authorization from that middleman. So if a merchant on the internet, you're trying to sell any goods, first you have to accept credit cards, payment and all, the person that's making the payment is gonna require to wait for the tra transaction to pass through credit card company and to authorize the transaction. If later on the person can sell the charge, call his company, his credit card company and say, I didn't do this purchase or call PayPal and dispute the, the, the charge, you most certainly will lose the money. As the cash, you can't come back to the cashier and say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't buy that. Once you bought something, you give her the cash, she have it. So how do you solve that problems on the internet? Bitcoin is the solution. Bitcoin is a blockchain network and it allows you to transfer value between each other without any middleman. Basically, it's a ledger that's distributed across millions of computers, a ledger of all the transactions that happens on the Bitcoin network. A bit like the bank will keep a ledger of your bank account and all the transactions you do on your bank account to keep the balance of your account up to date, the Bitcoin network will do the same thing for each of the, the wallet's address that they have. It will register every transaction that happen on the blockchain and will be able to give you your full balance of your account at any time. If someone will want to hack the Bitcoin network, they will have to hack every single computer plugged to the network at the same time to change all the, the data on the, on the network. On top of that, each of these transactions are encrypted in a way that's making very, very hard to change anything. We call it blockchain because basically every 10 minutes, Bitcoin network aggregates all the transactions that occur in the last 10 minutes into a block of transaction. This block is then encrypted with information of the last 10 minutes block as well to make it very hard to change any of the block. Computer running the network, usually called mining computers, will solve complicated mathematic equations to encrypt and proof the encryptions of the network to make it very safe and very robust to any hacking. These miners get rewarded for all the computing powers they give to net the network. That's what's creating new Bitcoins on the network. Right now, every 10 minutes, 12.5 Bitcoins are created and it will be distributed to the first computer that found the, the new block that create it if you want the new block of transactions with the, all the transactions that were pending on the network. This allowed them to pay their electricity costs and the hardware on what the Bitcoin network run. Basically, the Bitcoin networks is a software that computer running the software agree to run exactly the same rules. It had to be a consensus on all the basic rules of the systems to follow through for every computer. If someone don't agree with, the, with any of the updates or any of the rules of the system, automatically they can't participate in the mining of the Bitcoins and automatically are becoming something different. So the advantage for everyone is to follow the consensus. This is why we also have other current currency with almost the same name like Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Satoshi Vision that will be 
almost the same thing as Bitcoin, but with slightly different rules or different mechanisms the way they work. The main rule, the most important rules about Bitcoin is that it's limited to 21 million Bitcoins total supply. Currently, we have 17.9 million Bitcoin in circulation that being released. So there is still missing just over 3 million Bitcoins to be released and they will be released every 10 minutes right now at 12.5 Bitcoins every 10 minutes. In a few, a few days, around 250 days, this reward for every block that's created will go down by half, what we call the halving of the Bitcoin, to 6.25 Bitcoins every 10 minutes. This halving of the Bitcoin network happen every four years to create more value for the network since the miner, the people running the network, still have the same or even higher fee in electricity to run the network and, and run all their computers, they still have to sell those Bitcoin now for more money, creating an incentive to sell for a higher price and then increasing the, the value of the network and then increasing the value of the Bitcoin. Currently in September 2019, at the date I'm shooting this video, Bitcoin represent a market cap of around $189 billion and have a volume of transaction around $17 billion every 24 hours. So a lot of money passed through the Bitcoin networks. The all-time high for the price of Bitcoin was in December 2017 when Bitcoin hit the price of 20089 American dollars per Bitcoin. Currently, it's sitting around $10,000 of Bitcoin. The security that protects the Bitcoin networks and each wallet is so damn good that it makes it almost impossible for someone to find or access back the Bitcoins if they lost their secret key. The security behind Bitcoin is just a wallet and a code for this wallet to access the money. There is no personal information that's stored on the, on the ledger, on the blockchains. Basically, if you had a billion human trying a billion combination every second on a billion different planets at the same time, there was still not been enough seconds since the creation of the universe to try every combination possible for one simple Bitcoin address. So that's what's created the security behind Bitcoins and make it very foolproof. You cannot just run your computer and try to brute force your way into a Bitcoin address. To make it even more safer, people now can do multi-signature address where multiple signature or multiple person will be required to validate each transaction. Let's create another level of security and could be used for family funds or also for your own personal security. If you hold a lot of money in, a, in one Bitcoin address, you could, for example, give one of those private key to your mother or to someone in your family to hold securely and another one that you have on you. So even if someone force you to access the money and give it to them, you will still not be physically capable because you're not going to have both parts of the signature to access and create that transaction to send them the money. That's one other level that you can add to make your, your Bitcoin holding even more secure. So now let's talk a bit about the history behind Bitcoin. First Bitcoin being proposed as a project the 31st of October 2008 by someone called Satoshi Nakamoto. By now, a bit over 10 years later, we believe that this name was the name of a group or a simple pen name for someone to protect his identity. In uh, January, beginning of January, the 3 of January 2009, the Bitcoin network became active. So the software was ready and Satoshi Nakamoto, the author of, the, of this protocol, started running the network and started giving a few, a few Bitcoins to people to start using it and encouraging them to also run that same network on their own computer to make the, the network more trustworthy and more active. The title of this project was Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. A bit like Torrent 
if you ever use torrent to download movies or anything else, there's not one middle man in the middle that control the content. You basically have the content shared across all the computer of the network. Bitcoin were on the same way as what making it trustworthy, what making it secure is the share amount of computer that run the network. We call these computer nodes. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment in the comment sections. I usually do news recap of the cryptocurrency world every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So if you would like to watch these also consider subscribing or watch the rest of my channel's video. On that, I wish you a very great day and thank you to have watched O-Trading TV.